Hey guys, Mackie here with Ironside Ranch, and uh, today I wanted to go over a video from another channel, that, to the channel I really like, it's uh, Tractor Mike. If you haven't gone over to his channel, I really like his stuff. If you're at all interested in tractors or mechanics or anything, it's a great channel. Uh, by the way, I've got the baby in the seat behind me, so if you hear any cooing, that's what's going on, but um, I'm not gonna show him because YouTube has rules on that, and I don't know what they are, so. Um, but uh, but I wanted to go over this video. He was talking about should you be using your like your, your manufacturer's uh, filters and fluids and stuff like that. And now I'll do with respect to Tractor Mike. I think he's got it. Like I said, he's got a great channel. He's incredibly knowledgeable. So um, and I'm not necessarily saying that he's wrong. Um, I am going to say that I pretty much disagree with his points there. Um, and let me kind of illustrate why. The reason he says to do it is mostly for the peace of mind of sleeping well at night. The reason I say not to do it is because um, they're incredibly overpriced, the manufacturer's oils and filters, and they may not actually be the best oils and filters. And so the, the question is, is you, you know, you're gonna look at me you, like, like I'm crazy, but really what they do is, is um, with, I guess there might be an exception out there, but what most manufacturers do, and guys, I've worked in the manufacturing industry, I, I know a little bit about how this is all done, and um, the reality of it is, is what they do is they, they, the same factories are producing them and they give slightly different specs on things, but, uh, uh, and then they slap a different label on them. So, um, and, and I don't know who's building John Deere's or who builds Kubota's or whatever, um, but you know, Fram is pretty much the lowest end as far as filters go. Uh, they're about the worst quality. Uh, they do the least amount of good. If you're using Fram filters, you should be changing them significantly more often. Um, I use, I always use Wix, um, and unless Wix has changed what they've done, I always use Wix filters for everything, for uh, hydraulic fluid, for engine oil, uh, everything that Wix makes a filter for, I use theirs. Uh, that doesn't mean there's not other good brands out there like Mobile One and stuff like that. I just use Wix because I've seen enough diagnostics on them being cut open and seeing what's going on inside of them that I trust the Wix manufacturing process. <clears throat> now, here, let me reposition this a little bit. Um, the uh, so so that's that that's kind of the reason why I like to use them. So the Wix is better than the Fram, and so if Fram is who's manufacturing John Deere's, for example, then if they are, like I said, I don't know who manufactures who's in that industry, but um, if they are, then the aftermarket one is actually significantly better quality than the, than the OEM, the factory one. Now the same holds true with oil. Now John Deere says, oh, we put an additive in there. Okay, well tell me what the additive is and what it does and why it's beneficial and show me the data on that. The reality of it is, is that you're doing this as a sales and marketing scheme. Um, and that it's not actually probably any different. Every brand of engine oil says that they that they put an additive in. You're gonna tell me that John Deere is making their own engine oil? Uh, I sincerely doubt it. It's gonna be made by Shell or who's ever manufacturing these oils and these petroleum products out there. Oh, hey buddy. So, um, and, and whoever, I don't even know if Shell manufactures their own, whoever manufactures it for them. Um, I use Rotel, uh, Rotel, Rotel, yeah, Rotel oil, uh, which is a Shell product. Uh, that's what I use in all of our in all of our diesel engines. Uh, from again, from the data that I've seen, that's the best. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the only one to use, and that's who you should use. Uh, that's just who I currently use, and I may change that in the future if somebody else comes up with something better, or I find something else out there I like more. But let's look at the, the let's look at the reality of it. And a John Deere, John Deere's engines are made by, uh, well, at least the one that I have is made by Yanmar. I'm not sure who they're currently using, if it's still Yanmar. Whatever it is, they're using another manufacturer to manufacture their engines. They're not manufacturing their own engine blocks. And so the, to tell me that their oil is engineered specifically for that engine block and somehow works better with that engine block. Guys, it's just a crankshaft moving and, and pistons going up and down at the end of the day. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's not that overly complicated. That's all the oil is lubricating. And to, to say that it, it does a better job because of the manufacturer, the brand of the engine, it, it, to me, it's just not a logical argument. Um, now, there might be newer tractors where different things are being done on it. That's a little bit different story when you start talking about like turbochargers and stuff like that, uh, where, the, where the, the, it does take a little bit uh, finer viscosity oil. But you know, for the, especially for the older tractors, you can't you can't convince me that it makes any hill of beans a difference on there. So um, I would just use a good quality, reputable brand of oil. Like I said, Mobile One, uh, the the Rotel oil. Um, is it Rotel or Rotel? I'm, trying, I'm blanking on that. One of them is the tomatoes. Um, I can't remember. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. 
Um, so those are good ones. Uh, Valvoline's got some good stuff out there. there. There's lots of brands that have good oil. There's a lot, and there's lots of brands that have cheap oil, um, and they have lower in, lower end stuff that doesn't have the additives in there. Um, that that is, you know, maybe maybe using a crude oil instead of synthetic oil or whatever it is. Uh, and, and I'm not a chemical engineer by any means. So if anyone is a chemical engineer, jump in there in the comments and let me know what you think. But uh, but that's that's really where we're at with this is that you're just lubricating mechanical moving parts. It's not the end of the world to use something slightly different than maybe what John Deere or Kubota or whoever says. Now, if you're under warranty, whole different discussion. If you're under warranty, you still want to use what's what's best there. Uh, but if you're not under warranty, there are certain other brands that still advertise that they're made to whatever the specs are of that manufacturer, and they may be made better. Uh, hydraulic fluid. I get my hydraulic fluid from Napa because it's three times cheaper than what John Deere wants to charge me at the John Deere store, and it's made to the same specs. So it is, it, I bet you dollars to donuts it's made in the same factory with a different label slapped on it. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay the John Deere prices on that uh, just to have their brand on my engine oil or on my hydraulic fluid. Um, <clears throat> so that's why I, I disagree with Tractor Mike on this. Again, nothing against Tractor Mike, guys. He's got a great channel, so I don't want this to come out like I'm saying that necessarily that, oh, he's wrong, he's a horrible person or anything like that. Like I said, he's got a great channel. He's got good reason for why he recommends what he does. So uh, definitely check out his channel if you haven't done so. I'll put a description or a, a link to his channel in the description. Um, if you guys want to go over there and check it out, it'll be after I, I'm going to upload this mobily. So if, it'll be after I get it, get a chance to edit the description on the, uh, on the computer. But, uh, but it, so if you watch it before then that it won't be down there, but, uh, otherwise we'll, we'll get it in the description so y'all can go over there and check his out. Uh, but that's, that's all I had guys. Um, I just wanted to go over that. Like, like I said, buy good quality filters, good quality oils and fluids, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get the manufacturer's OEM stuff. So thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, like the channel if you haven't already done so. Check us out on Facebook. That does really help us out, and I uh, uh, really appreciate y'all watching.